of Warren to be Wild, the black leather jacket, and it comes to us from the Harley-Davidson Museum in Wisconsin and the EMP Museum in Seattle. And it tells the story of the black leather jacket and how it evolved from a garment in the early part of the 20th century that was used primarily for protection against the elements uh, in early automobiles, airplanes, motorcycles, of course, and how it evolved over time in uh, public consciousness to become a, more of a symbol than a, a functional piece of, uh, of wear and became really something that stood for individuality and rebellion and dangerousness. So in a sense, it, it marks the journey of this garment from going from something that protected people from danger to something that exuded uh, an aura of dangerousness. It starts off with uh, uh, early jackets from the 1920s and 30s that, that people wore, you know, riding motorcycles and whatnot, and then goes into World War II and the bomber flight jackets and then it traces the evolution really into the 1950s where it became more of a rebellious symbol. Uh, so we have like Elvis's uh, black leather jacket in his motorcycle, um, lots of celebrity jacket, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator 2 jacket, uh, Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas. It's very interesting, it, it, it kind of shows that we can look at artifacts that are a little bit more contemporary and that still tells us something about uh, our society and kind of, you know, from a cultural anthropology point of view, we don't necessarily have to go back hundreds of years to look for these kinds of stories. And yeah, all our exhibitions this season kind of have a neat tie because um, there's celebrity and image and photography in the Brian Adams show and of course that's a big part of Want to Be Wild is, is these notions of the image and, and a lot of ties to celebrity culture. Whether music is your thing, fashion or movies, the Worn to be Wild exhibit here at the Glenbow Museum has something for everyone. For Go Calgary, I'm Kate Hutchinson.